Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Taco Solutions. The producer price index was released and let's go ahead and break it down. So I just finished my live trading session with my Learn Plan Profit Group. Friendly reminder, if you ever wanna watch me trade live, even before you sign up for my LPP team, uh, send me a direct message via Discord. That's that first link down below or send me a message via Instagram, third link down below uh, and ask me for a previous live trading session. I'd love to share it with you for, for you to be able to uh, get a taste of what the Learn Plan Profit Group gets to experience every single day at Market Open. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the producer price index for those that are unaware what is this how does this differentiate from the cpi report that was released yesterday cpi is consumer price index it's on the consumer side of inflation right producer is on the uh, it, it determines uh, the rate of inflation inc increase or decrease on the producing side the reason that uh, ppi is important and is valuable especially for investors or traders uh it's it's a way to be able to kind of, to kind of like foreshadow or forecast um, you know, what's to come, because if we see inflation hitting on the producing side of things, then it's to be expected that, you know, the domino effect that on the consumer side, we might see um, a higher or lower rate of inflation based off of what we first see on the producer side, right? If producers are experiencing inflation or seeing a retraction, then again, this is something that is useful to know as then we can try to plan in advance for what's to be reported for up and coming CPI data reports on the consuming side of things. Uh, it actually came in as expected. So it came in at 8.7%. Uh, the core PPI came in a little bit lower than expected, a little bit higher than expected. I'll go ahead and refresh this very quickly. Um, but very, very useful to understand. So we can see that core CPI uh, was missed uh, by 0.4. Uh, and the expectation was 0.3. So um, barely a miss. This is why we're probably seeing the market somewhat go up a little bit. So this is QQQ, which is a NASDAQ ETF. Obviously, it got absolutely rocked yesterday. Uh, one of the biggest red days that the NASDAQ market has experienced, if not the biggest, in 2022. So big drop, big opportunity. Now a lot of people are asking, my, uh, asking me the question of like, hey, Ricky, is now a good time uh, to get into TQQQ or to the, any NASDAQ market or really any long-term position? It's all about intention right now. If your intention is to try to make money right now, I am not sold on the idea that the market's going to recover right away. I mean, what was released yesterday, the day that we experienced yesterday with the market selling off was very significant. Let's not undermine that. Let's respect it and understand that it's going to take time for us to be able to recover. Things have to not get worse before they get better, right? So either we're gonna have a couple choppy days, we might sell off a little bit more, but it's good to understand that because it's about your intention. If your intention is to make money right now, no, I do not think that it's gonna be uh, the most lucrative time where the market's just gonna all of a sudden gap up. I, I do not believe that. I don't have that hopeful mentality. Now, do I think that now is a good time to invest, to prepare for long-term positions? Not day trade, but invest. Buy now and maybe sell either a couple months or a couple years down the road. Yes, deals have presented themselves. Uh, when the market sold off yesterday this aggressively, everything in the NASDAQ pulled back, everything. So with that being said, deals are present, but Things can get worse. Things can always get cheaper before they get better. And you need to understand that. Respect it. Watch that position size. Understand that confirmation still hasn't proven itself. If we look at this on the 30-minute time frame, it's very easy for me to see. And I wanted to give you guys an example of what I'm looking for. On the 30-minute time frame, we're still trading below the EMA line. I'm looking for QQQ to trade above $300 a share. That would be more encouraging that, hey, we are indicating signs of a reversal. If you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group, not only do we host the live trading session, but within the course, we actually bring break down the three stages of a reversal. And it's literally a textbook setup. Rejection, that's when the stock is still selling off. Consolidation, based off of previous support levels and when it's beginning to indicate signs of a support. And then what? We wait for confirmation. It's that simple. Do not overcomplicate your trading. Keep trading simple. Instead of trying to predict the future, how about we just try to prepare for it? Set those alerts. Don't You don't need to get in early. You don't need to be a, a fortune teller, right? Simply set your alerts. Select one or two stocks that you want to get into, create a trade plan, a plan of action, and just give it time. The more it sells off, if it does sell off, the cheaper you can get it for. If it does begin to indicate signs of recovery, then at least you have your plan of action to jump in when it does. Allow the opportunity to present itself to you. Don't make it or force it to happen. 
that's all I have to say with you today. So I wanted to recap the PPI data report. I hope that that information was useful. Again, this could all be found at bls.gov forward slash PPI. And if you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, please, I hope that you know that I respond to all of my direct messages either via Discord or via Instagram. All you literally have to do is send me a message. I cannot assist you and I cannot answer a question if you do not reach out. Friendly reminder, I will never reach out to you first. All of those are fake accounts. I'm verified on all of my different platforms such as Instagram and YouTube. So please make sure that if you receive an account pretending to be me, I don't have a Forex fund, I don't have a crypto fund, I will never trade for you. Literally the only thing that I offer is my Learn Plan Profit Group. It's the group that gets to watch me trade live every single day and that works with me on a closer basis. They get access to our A to Z video lesson library designed for beginners, my daily live trading session, my private group chat, and access to the tech that's HQ. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. Right now it is $100 off and that's going to be that second link down below. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and like always, let's make sure that we in the year are on a green note. Take it easy team.